For hundreds of thousands of years, the rocky volcanic islands that make up the Galapagos were protected by this natural moat, the 600 miles that lay between here and mainland South America. And that's all changed, of course, thanks to airplanes and boats and a booming tourist economy. Even the lightest treading visitors require disposable goods and services. And more people arriving here to witness a pristine natural habitat means more infrastructure arriving to support them. You still need labor. You get paid well. So people want to come here and, and work. I think that's just fair enough. If you see the numbers, the numbers are scary. We have had sustained growth of 12 to 14 percent a year on the number of tourists coming to the Galapagos for the last 20 years or so. So what it tells you is that it has not been well managed. We have allowed the market pressures to rule tourism in Galapagos. What's really significant perhaps is not you know, just environmental impact or you know, living standards or things like that, it's political. In that the, the political majority have been here five years. Small island politics come to life. These protesters are longtime locals who are trying to gain access to more permits for fishing and tourism at a time when permits for both are being strictly reduced. Galapagos has a history of, of over-exploitation uh, that goes way back to the whalers of the 16th century. There is an illegal shark finning industry here. You find their fins in bags going to Asia. It's a mafia-like organization. As long as there is no feeling of this is my income, therefore I will protect the resource, there will become a time in which fishing becomes non-viable. I think it would certainly help if the park rangers were armed. If you go to a supermarket in, uh, in Quito, you see a security guard with a gun protecting a, a bag of potatoes. Here we got this beautiful, uh, pristine uh, ecosystem called the Galapagos Islands, and the park rangers have absolutely no, no jurisdiction whatsoever. They're not even allowed to carry batons. It doesn't matter how good technical arguments you have or human arguments you may have regarding conservation. It's not about that. It is mostly, unfortunately, about economics and politics.